Hey everyone! Um, today I am going to be doing actually a makeup tutorial. I'm really excited about this. Um, I actually love to do like my makeup and stuff and I think it's really fun and I am really excited to show you guys this look. Now um, the look I'm going to put together is actually inspired by an advertisement I saw in Harper's Bazaar, the September issue. And I will go ahead and show that to you. It's a super, super pretty um, makeup look, I think, and I love how deep and dramatic it is, like the eyes with all of the purple and the bronze. Um, I just think it's so gorgeous. And then obviously we have a nice uh, burgundy lip, and burgundy is super, super trendy right now. So in, and I loved that aspect of it as well. And obviously the cheeks are very rosy. It is very over the top. Um, I'm not sure that this look is for everyone, but I specifically like looks like this. So I'm gonna show you how I'm going to put together this look. So first I'm going to put up my hair just to kind of get it out of the way while I try to do the makeup. All right, so now we are ready to start the look. So first I'm gonna start off with the face. I'm not really a big foundation person. I don't really like to use a lot of foundation or primers or concealers. Like I'm not really big into that stuff. I think it looks cakey a lot of the time and I don't like how it looks, especially too because I have fair skin. My skin is very light, so it's hard to find any skin products that don't make me look like I got a really bad suntan. So, um, to start out, I'm going to be using the Eyes, Lips, Face, the Beauty Encyclopedia Face Palette. I'm in love with this palette. It's pretty much the only face palette that I use. Um, okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, up here, we have all the face shimmers, concealers, blush, and bronzer. So I'm going to actually start out with the concealer. Um, I love how I'm going to use the lightest shade since my skin is very light and I'm going to start under my eyes and just rub it and then do the other eye and then blend it like so. Okay. Now I am going to use the concealer again on my trouble spot. So I have a little bit of acne as you can probably tell so I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on some of my trouble areas. All right, so now we are done with the concealer. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, this pink uh, face cream that's right, um, right here. I'm going to apply it to the apples of my cheeks. I'm actually still going to do that with my fingers. So then what I do is I, the best way to get the apples of your cheeks is to make like a kissy face because when you pull in, you just see the apple and the cheek is more defined so it makes it easier. So Alrighty, so now I'm going to move on to the blush. Obviously in the picture, the cheeks are very dark and I'm going to try to go for a similar look. Since the cheeks are so dark, I'm actually going to add a little bit of lip gloss to my cheeks. So this is a great way to add more color because um, I have a little, it's very rosy and I want it to be that dramatic dark pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of lip gloss actually on my blush brush and I'm not going to apply it directly. I'm going to blend it with some of the blush and then go over. See how nicely that looks? It has a little bit more of the rosy effect because of the lip gloss. All right, so I am now done with the face portion of this look. And now we're going to move on actually first to the lips. All right, so the lips obviously were that very dark, burgundy and I want to um, imitate that but for my skin tone. 
The girl in the picture, obviously, her skin is a little bit darker than mine. You can't really tell on camera, but it's like an olive shade. Um, so this, this particular shade would not flatter my skin tone. So I'm going to make it a little more rosy. Since I have pink undertones in my skin, I want to bring that out. And that's what you want to do with your lips too. So I'm going to modify the look. So first, I'm going to use the darkest shade and go over it. Now this is almost exactly what the girl is wearing. It's a really dark burgundy lipstick and I'm going to just put a coat on my lips like so. Okay, and now we're going to work on brightening it a little bit. So first I'm going to use this sort of like rosy lipstick to go over my lips to make it a little more even to my skin tone like that and you can see it also kind of has that ombre effect on your lips and you get so pretty and now I want it to be a little bit glossy because in the picture her lips were very glossy and this is matte so I'm going to be using this lip gloss now I'm going to be using the red side again which is what we used on the cheeks and just go over. Okay, so now we are done with the lips. And you can see it's very bright, it's very bold, but it's still a little more um, muted to my skin tone. So now we're going to go ahead and do the eyes. All right, now for my primer, I actually usually use a liquid concealer. Um, and I like what it does uh, for my eyes. And I think it gives it a little bit more of a pop versus just a primer. Okay, so you can see how nice and bright and primed today my eyes look. I actually like this look just by itself without any other things on the eyes. But I am going to do the glamorous eye. Now the eye is so intricate and has so many details. So we've got first the under shade of purple, which is what I'm going to be doing now. And for that, I'm going to be using this palette from the icing. And it has so many different shades and colors, and it's just a gorgeous palette, and I love it. For, for the undertone of the eye, I'm going to be using this brush, which is from Bare Minerals. You can see it's nicely it's shaped to your eye shape. So first, um, we're going to be obviously doing the purples. So I'm going, since it is very dark, I'm going to be blending this purple and this purple right there. So first, we're going to go with the darker purple. Alright, so now we've obviously got that very deep, dramatic purple, and now we're going to move on to the bronze sparkle. So, uh, the, she has a little bit of bronze on the inner corners of her eye that really define it, and I love how that looks. Um, so first, that is what we're going to do. We're going to use this palette again, but I'm going to use the other palette. So first, I'm going to be using this shade right here. Um, and then I'm going to combine it with this gold shade up there. Alright, so that part is done. And now we are going to move on to the next palette. Um, and this palette is, it's called um, Profusion Glamour Brick. Actually, I dropped it and a couple of the shadows are broken and gone. So if you see a couple of holes and stuff, that's what that is from. And I just got it all over my keyboard. Now we are going to be using a combo. First we're going to be using this purple right there. And then this purple almost exactly matches her shade. All right, and now we're going to move on to this beautiful, I love this deep purple. So I'm going to focus on the outer corner first. So I'm just going to brush it over. It's going to be dark. <laughs> like that. And I'm going to do the other eye. Okay, so now actually what we're going to do is I'm going to wet this brush now. Because the look in the picture is very bright and sparkly and wet it almost looks like so this is a great way to get your shadows to be more pigmented is to actually uh, use water on them and you don't need to use very much um, just, I'm actually going to use a little bit left in a water bottle just wet it wet the tip now go to the shadows 
I'm going to go to this bright purple one again. And now I'm going to go over almost my entire lid with this. Now we're going to do, um, we're going to wet the brush again and I'm going to use this bright bronze right there to give in the inner corners to give that really cool effect. So, um, she did a lot of the shadow under the eye, but I think that can look a little bit raccoon-like. So, we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to just take this liquid eyeliner. It's actually a bronze color, but it has a little bit of a purple. It's from Islip's face again. And we're just going to be taking this and doing a little bit underneath the eyes. And now this is the finished look. You're all done. I love, 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 love this look. I think it's just so bright and bold. And I just love all of the colors. You know, I think it can be easy to turn clowny. But I think this is still a little bit more subdued. And it, it would be a great nighttime look. I think it is a little bright for day. Um, but I think, like, it's a nighttime to be a little, like, dramatic. I absolutely love how the makeup looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, tell me if you guys would like me to do more makeup tutorials and what you think overall of this very vampy, sexy look. Um, I am very happy with it and I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you next video. Mwah. And actually because the cheeks are so dark, I'm going to actually add a little bit of... Whoa! <laughs>